initially I came down to Otago in, in 2001 when I finished school because I was always quite interested in, um, in biology and I was interested in, in um, science in general. And so I actually came down to do the health science first year course and I, I had the intention of doing uh, physiotherapy but then there were some subjects that I didn't enjoy so much but um, I had a really great uh, tutor or demonstrated myself when I was an undergraduate um, in the human uh, biology labs and I just knew immediately that that was the kind of stuff that I really enjoyed and I really liked so I ended up um, kind of switching my, my degree plan to, to being anatomy and then uh, as I completed my degree you, you get the opportunity to be able to do some teaching in the laboratory classes while you're, while you're studying as well, um, particularly when, you're, when you go into postgrad. And so I ended up just uh, teaching in some anatomy laboratories and I just knew that that was exactly what I wanted to be doing for a, for a job and so I've, I've kind of been doing it ever since. And, um, have been studying along the way as well, so yeah. Brad really does put his all into his work and really does go above and beyond the call of duty to make sure that the students really understand some of the very difficult concepts which he's trying to teach. He also puts a lot of time and energy outside the classroom into outreach activities to really helping the general public and others um, understand this wonderful science of anatomy. So there's an initiative in the, in the university, in the, in the wider university, to be uh, part of some strategic frameworks to improve um, the outcomes in terms of engagement, particularly with, with sciences for, for Māori and Pacifica students. Um, and so I, I liaise quite a lot with the, the Māori and Pacific Island centres um, because I'm a kaiafina for, for the Department of Anatomy, which means I'm a, a support person for, for our Māori students and also I liaise quite a lot to, to um, make sure that those students are feeling supported and, and, and nurtured, particularly I think for Māori and Pacifica students in anatomy where um, the human body is, is perceived to be sacred and so I think having a support network within our department for, for that side of things is actually is really important, although the, the network is kind of beyond science as well. Um, and so within that role I've also now um, taken on uh, tutoring for our second year courses so just to make sure that there's um, really good engagement with the, the material that's presented and also to um, ensure that the outcomes for our, our Māori and Pacifica students who are by, by um, sort of uh, historical means actually underrepresented in science um, are actually feeling really well supported so I'm really quite proud of, of the work that I get to do in that, in that area as well. Brad, he's able to bring a bit of humour to the classroom, which is really seen in science, and um, you know that's something that um, that relates to us as students. So I can really personally attest to the quirkiness and entertainment value that Brad puts into his lectures, and he even really lectures on to almost to an individual level to make sure that everybody's really understanding uh, what he's trying to to teach them. He took a big group of us Maori students um, in our first year, and um, you know, like we're we're often quite a reserved bunch. Um, you know, he managed to get um, people, you know, who don't say boo, he brings them in and everyone's just confidently sharing and that really helps us all learn together, you know, like it just makes it a cohesive group type of thing rather than just um, looking at learning on, you know, individual basis, which is quite helpful for sure us as students. It's always really nice when I actually get asked a question that I, I don't know the answer to and I, I then myself have to go out and learn something. Um, and so I think the, the fact that it's, it's evolving and it's an interesting subject, um, plus I think everybody wants to know more about their own bodies, so it's a, it's a subject that's kind of near and dear to all of us because it is what makes us who we are, and so I think being able to communicate that to students is, is really, really quite exciting and also challenging, but also really, really fun as well. I try and make things kind of accessible and interesting, use anecdotes, make things fun. If you can make it you know, interactive and, and 3D and, and, and relatable, I think everybody's gonna take more out of the class that way. That's what I consider to be successful, that we've, we've had a student come into our degree program, they've been inspired and nurtured and, and have enjoyed their time, um, and that they're gonna continue in the sciences or continue um, with, with their aspirations to, um, to study, perhaps.